Hello. What is up my guys and girls? Welcome back to the channel. Before we get into the episode today, we'd like to give a huge shout out to everyone that offered us help with the gearbox. Let's get into it. Alright, well, it's a lot easier than if it was a standard car. <laughs> so um, we'll just whack the drive shaft off, um, whack the two front shafts off, get this cradle out. Uh, I think we have to drop that as well, Spencer. We'll have to drop that as well. And then undo it from the motor and hopefully it just comes straight back. So let's get into it, eh? Alright. As you just seen, we've taken the gearbox out and we've got the mechatronic and stuff here. Uh, I've come back home with the clutch and I've pulled the clutch apart. Um, bit excited, forgot to film it, but found the problem and there it is. So this is K2 clutch. As you can see, the fibers, uh, it might be hard for you to see, I've measured them and as usual, pretty much the same as a motorbike clutch. They wear in a, uh, they wear in order. Um, the ones closest to the to the basket wear faster. But this is and this is the, the the result is that they've worn. They're not gripping anymore. And this is the result. The clutch plates are burnt. This clutch is cooked. Now that's K1. Now K2. Sorry, I beg your pardon. That is K2. Clutch 2, K2, the small one. K1, the outer clutch, of course is as good as gold. So the steels are good. I've taken it apart and had a look in there. They all look great. So um, since we uh, had the problem at the track, uh, we were contacted by a young guy called Alan Zhang. Um, he's a fan of the show, fan of the series, and he has a business called DSG Performance. He's super excited about the project and he has been good enough to send us everything we need and here it is. It's just arrived today. So um, we've got new pan gasket for when we put the thing back together so that can go over there. Um, well, I've also set him down the TCU and the ECU and he's reflashing them which is amazing. Um, obviously the TCUs, what we've got here. All right, I'm not sure what we've got here, but this is definitely something for the mechatronic. Um, so we'll just put that down there. This will, I'm sure it'll all become clear of what we've got. Uh, here's something else here, Spence. All right, that is definitely something else for the mechatronic too. Oh yeah, I've seen these on YouTube. That is for the mechatronic unit. Um, so that's a new, a new board. For the mechatronic, this is awesome. Okay, so there's that. We've got, oh, that's not just packing, there's something in there. Uh, ah, this is what he said. He said he would send some new solenoids. So, there's those. All right, uh, I'm not sure what they're called. I think they're called solenoids. <laughs> we'll put them there. Uh, what have we got in here, Spence? Hopefully, uh, a brake switch. Yep. New brake switch. Roger that. Uh, aha. Right, so. We're going to be replacing a lot of stuff in the gearbox. So, new main seal, the new uh, O ring. 
And these are some other seals and, and pistons and bits and pieces that we can also replace. Yeah, that's a bit noisy on underfoot, but that's all right. Uh, the internal oil filter. Uh, nothing there. And haha, -ha, finally, here we go. All right. Well, even though we don't need K1, look at that. New clutch plates for K1. We'll put them down there, Spence. New steels for K2. New fibers for K2. course oil so that's awesome look I can't explain enough how fantastic it is that that Alan's helped James from Audvox gave me his details I gave him a call he was super enthusiastic about the about the project and um, he's not only offered to help us out with all this gear which he, which he's done and sent up in record time he's explained to me what he's going to do with the the uh, the TCU which is the transmission control unit um, he's flashing that and he's also uh, reflashed the ECU as well and taken out a lot of the junk that kept popping up for us all the time. If you ever need anything doing with your DSG gearbox, Alan Zhang, DSG Performance. We will leave his details at the end of this. Actually, I'll get Spence to put flash up a card with his details on it right now. Um, fantastic, absolutely fantastic. and. All here, all ready to go, and the guy, there's nothing he doesn't know about the DSG. We were pulling it apart in the workshop. We were FaceTiming him to see what we had to do. It was absolutely awesome. Highly recommended, as is everyone on our site, but highly recommended. We cannot thank him enough. Thanks very much, Alan. Spence, go for it. So we just finished assembling the clutch. We've replaced both K1 and K2 pistons. We've also replaced both K1 and K2 steels and fibres. What's next left to do is to put the top on, third clip on, new new rubber. The new seal, yep. New seal. New seal. Don't push it in yet, that's alright. <laughs> yep. Then that does that and then and then so then we'll have a bit of a, a bit of a break and a bit of a breather and then we come on to what are we gonna do next, Spence? Then we're gonna be moving on to the mechatronics of the gearbox. So we'll give that a recondition as well. We've got um, these parts here to replace. As well as clean everything and make sure everything's right. And you know, I mean, yeah, we would, <laughs> we're taking our time. We just want to make sure we get this right. We are both pretty excited about getting this dirty old diesel going again, but with a clutch that doesn't slip. And so we can really put the power down. This is going to be awesome. So. Um, 2021, diesel racing, here we come. It's exciting stuff, we're about to get the bottom of the sump off so we can get it all back together. <laughs> Alright, so, we'll give it things to clean up. It's a work of art, this thing, a work of art. It's like a Swiss watch inside, just beautiful. Um, so anyway, we've got a bit of work to do, we'll, um, we'll probably time lapse it or something. I'm sure Spencer worked his magic with the camera, and um, yeah, we'll put the sucker together. Carefully. <laughs> Gearbox has just gone and we've lowered the car, we've put the TCU and the ECU back in the car and now I'm going to start it up. Hang on, let's just get a... Whoa! It 
it's January 1st, 2021, and we have got the car going again. We've got to give a huge shout out to DSG Performance, Alan Zhang. He has made it possible to get the car back to where we need it to go. Dad's about to go for a drive up the runway in sport. Let's see how it goes. Testing um, sport mode and testing up the driveway. Here we go. We've just made it back into the shed and wow, that is awesome. The car is doing 80 kilometers an hour in a 60 meter range. The driveway is also 14 degrees. That's pretty steep and we don't have, we don't have the full driveway. We have to try and slam the brakes on before we crash up into the cars at the top. There's no longer any problems with the gearbox. The clutch adaptation isn't slamming together anymore. It's just nice and smooth. It's also revving out all the way and it's pretty epic. Well, there you have it, our first episode of 2021. And it was pretty epic. But that's it for today. We'll see you next time. Catch us later. Oh, wait. Oh. That's uh, go again, go again, and check. Yeah. Go. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. There's a very special offer for the viewers. If you subscribe right now and hit that notification button, you'll be notified every time one of our videos comes out.